Hi Sunshines and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day. So today I have got a Wantable unboxing for you. I've had sort of an up and down relationship with Wantable. I do feel like they've gotten it together. My friend Veronica Foley, I will link her channel below, said in the comments last month that Wantable has been doing so much better since they allowed their stylist to look at a calendar, which is so true because I had to laugh when she said that because we would get like long sleeve sweaters in the middle of summer and shorts in the middle of winter and it was just we called it the box of random for forever and I feel like they've really gotten their act together and I have to say my favorite 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 pieces that I get from subscription boxes typically come from Wantable so when they're good they're great so let's see what's inside it is a $20 styling fee for this box you get seven pieces of clothing if you buy one or more pieces, you get the $20 credited back. If you buy, I believe, I'll check it, but I believe it's between five and seven pieces, then you get a 25% discount. You do work with a stylist. I don't know if I give my stylist any hints this time. So we will see. That's what it looks like. Just getting right down to business. I do have to say, I did a little bit of shopping. I didn't post videos of around this time last week. I took a couple of days off from filming and I did a bunch of shopping home decor and I, ha I went to the mall actually, y'all. I know, it felt like hell froze over. And I actually had some great luck. So stay tuned for that um, fall haul. It'll be coming soon. So here is my little card. It says, whether your day calls for a casual look, a dressy ensemble, or anything in between, these picks will ensure you're prepared for anything. Okay, I will finish reading this and then let you know if there's anything pertinent in here based on the pieces. We have the bag that's self-addressed and already paid for to send anything else that I don't want. All right, the first thing is a shirt by Bobi. This is so funny because I own the same exact shirt. I got it from Trendsend, and it is one of my favorite tops. I love this top and I will say that I got something on the front of it and I couldn't get it off so I reordered it on the trends and clearance last year and I they only had a large they didn't have a medium and it's really really big on me so if this fits I know that sounds weird but this has been such a fun basic it's long enough and I just pair it with some little skinny jeans. You can put a jacket over it a sweater I just really really like it I think it was a little bit pricey Let's see, this is the Knot Front Tee in White, it's $48. Now, I feel like with the basics, I will pay extra for them. I don't mind a good Target basic at all, but I do feel like sometimes there are quality t-shirts that you can have that work a little bit longer. All right, the next thing I got is a cut from the cloth Mia Toothpick Skinny. I think I've tried Mia's on before, and I think that I like them. I'm still looking for that perfect pair of dark skinny jeans so these may work they may be a little bit too skinny through my thighs because that's where I sort of keep my weight so we will see about those I really do like these though and these are the toothpick skinnies um, in approve wash and they are $79 man they have my number with Z supply <laughs> I think I've told them that before this is a really cool Z supply top it's just oh look at that that's it's kind of ombre that's kind of fun isn't it very very cute so this is the oh the ombre v-neck <laughs> tea in black iris and it's in a medium for $36 I have to say I've told you this before I will pay the money for Z supply they last they wash well, they dry well, they hang well, at least on me, I really do like them. A lot of people don't like the um, pockets on Z Supply shirts, and this one doesn't have a pocket. So if you don't, this one may be for you. All right, the next one is a Love Appella top. And this is sort of a swing top with sort of a window pane. I don't know if it's coming off on camera. Kind of got that window pane crisscross look to it. It's definitely like a swing top. That's cute. I don't know. I got that little window pane top from Trendsend in that pretty green, and I didn't love it under a cardigan, this neck. So we'll have to play with this one and see. This is the V neck crisscross tank in black, and it's $48. All right, then we got a piece from Wantable. 
And this is just a basic black jacket. It's got a gold zipper. I don't really like how, oh, it goes all the way to the bottom. That's interesting. I don't really like the color of the zipper, to be honest. I feel like it makes it look a little bit cheap. What do you guys think? Do you agree with that or not? Um, so it's just a basic black dress. It's very straight though. And I typically need a fit and flare with my thighs. So we'll see how I feel about this. I like the length. Um, you can always use a really nice black dress, which is something that I'm looking to add into my closet. I'm actually gonna be doing a dress haul very soon. I um, placed an order for about six different dresses and we'll see if I like any. I'm really picky with dresses. So this is the cap sleeve Ponte dress in black for $88. Then we got a pair of olive, oh my gosh. Oh, oh they have zippers, okay. These are olive green pants by Meritage. They have zippers at the bottom and then zippers sort of on the end of the pockets there. Those are cute. Sometimes the silhouette makes me look really hippie and sometimes it makes me look really skinny. So we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that it's <laughs> the latter one. This is the military patch pocket zipper detail in skinny and burnt olive and they're $88. I do like Meritage jeans a lot. A lot, a lot. I think I have two pairs. Okay, cute. And then we got a pair of jeans by Vigos. And these are the Jagger Deconstructed Skinnies in a medium wash for $74. And there they are. I actually really like them. I need to check though because I think that I got... I think the last jeans I got from Wantable were by Meritage and they were pretty um, similar to this wash and this deconstruction. So I'll have to compare them and see, but these are really cute. All right, I, I actually like everything but the dress in this box, so that is amazing. Oh, and maybe that little tank top. I'm not sure I like that little mm, crisscross tank top, we'll see. All right, let me go try on and I will be right back, okay? Okay, so I put on the little Ombre Z Supply t-shirt. It's not as ombre um, on as it looked like when I pulled it out in front of the camera. And to be honest, it really looks like they washed it, like I washed it and this all faded. <laughs> like it's just an old t-shirt that faded. I don't really think I like it, to be honest. And then these jeans are amazing. I don't want to take them off. They fit really well. They're really cute. They make me look skinnier than I am, which is always a good thing. However, I have to show you these. These are the Meritage jeans that I got last month from Z Supply. And you can see like these are distressed. They're sort of distressed here. Maybe not as much as these are. So I don't know if I need these, but I gotta tell you, I want them. <laughs> these jeans are so comfortable. So I'm gonna have to see if my budget has room in it this month for an extra pair of jeans because these are just really good. But I have to try on those olive ones too. So let me go do that and we'll compare. So I have put on this little Bobby top. I don't know if it's Bobby or Bobby. It's B-O-B-I. It's not exactly like the one I already have in my closet. The one I have is a little bit longer. Um, and this one's too tight. I'm just gonna share this with you. I got some fat rolls there. If you have them too, let's sympathize or empathize with me and put a fire emoji down below. And that way, you know, sisterhood, solidarity, we have them too. You know what I mean? So this shirt is going to be a no. I really do like these Meritage pants. They fit really well. The only concern is they the length is like perfect. I'm just wondering if they shrink at all or are they going to be too short? Also, in the back of my head, it was kind of bothering me. I was like, don't I have something similar to this in my closet? And yes, I have these blank NYC jeans with the tag still on them from last fall. That's embarrassing, y'all. This is why <laughs> I need to continue to clean out my closet and know what I have. And they're similar enough. These have a little bit of a moto style to them, but they're very similar to these other ones. So. I am not going to get these. I did pull this little sweater out. I just wanted to see what these would look like with like a neutral sort of oversized sweater. Yeah, they're cute. 
So I'm not going to get these, but I'm going to make a commitment to myself to wear the other ones that I have in my closet. All right, so I'm going to try the Mia toothpick skinnies on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I, I have gotten a couple of these window pane tank tops and I don't know if they're the style or if they're sending them to me because I ask for interesting necklines, but I don't like this window pane style for some reason. A lot of you guys liked it in the shirt that I got from Trenson. It was kind of greenish, but I don't love it. I do love the amount of extra material that's sort of in the front of this. So if you, you know, have a can of busted biscuits, you know, a little bit of extra right there. <laughs> It's always nice to have a little extra material. So that's great. If this was plain, I'd probably get it, but I don't really like the neckline. And then these Mia skinnies are really cute. And I have to show you something, because this seems to be a trend with my cut from the cloth skinny jeans that I've been getting in subscription boxes. Look how long they are. Like, they're long. That's my heel. So the jeans should, you know, they should be a little bit longer, but they're super long. These aren't as bad as the other ones, the Connie skinnies that I got in, I think, hmm, was it Stitch Fix? I don't remember which box it was from. I know, I think it was from um, Trendsend. So these aren't as bad, but they're still really long. So I don't know if they're giving you extra length to roll up to wear with booties, or if they're going to shrink, or if I just have short legs. I'm 5'7", so I don't think that's the case. I've never had to wear short jeans before. But this is what they look like. They're cute. I do need a pair of dark skinny jeans desperately because mine have sort of all faded and I just like the look of a dark pair that you can dress them up a little easier. So these may be a yes. I'm going to try that dress on. I don't have much hope for it, but stay tuned and we'll see. All right, so I didn't have hope for this dress, but it is really cute. I feel like black bodycon dresses are sort of a thing with subscription boxes sort of lately because this is the second one I've received. I feel very Claire from House of Cards, you know, Robin Wright Penn's character. I do like the silhouette of this. I think it looks really pretty straight on, but when I start moving around, there's a lot of lumps and bumps. I could definitely wear shapewear with it, but I don't know, I don't know that that would help as much as I needed or would want. I have to say, I take back what I said about the zipper all the way down. It's really cute. Also, the style of dress is not one that I would wear a lot. I, I don't do like work events or things like that. I don't have like cocktail type parties to go to. So I'm gonna pass on this because it's $88. I just feel like my body's not in this shape right now and I don't think that I would wear it enough for the price to justify it. So this is gonna be a note. Stay tuned and I'll be right back for the recap. This was such a good box. I'm really, really happy with what they sent. It was a great box of basics. I went back and forth with these Vygos jeans. I really, really liked them. I tried them on and then I tried the Meritage jeans on, which are the ones that are so similar to these that I got in my Wantable last month. It's so weird that they sent two very similar jeans and back-to-back -back boxes. And I really decided that I liked the Meritage jeans a little bit better. So I'm gonna pass on those. I did like them though. This little shirt, I just, it just looked, it doesn't look ombre when you put it on. It just looks faded and old. And I don't, I don't want that. <laughs> you don't want a new shirt to look faded and old. Although we buy our jeans looking faded and old. I don't know what the double standard is. Um, I like this top. I just didn't like the window pane. This was a little bit too tight. Don't forget to put that fire emoji down if you have some back fat too. <laughs> These Meritage jeans were really cute. They actually probably are more what I like versus the ones that I already have. I liked these a little bit better, but because I already have those, they're in my closet. They're similar enough. I'm not going to get these. And then this little black dress was cute. It was really cute. I just don't think that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it. So I'm sending it back. The one thing up in the air are the, the Mia toothpick skinnies. I do need a pair of really dark wash jeans. These were 79, I believe. And then with my $20 styling fee that makes them 59 which is a great price for cut from the cloth So I do think I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to these and then send everything else back I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, my name is Christy. Please consider hitting that subscription button I'm gonna put the link for Wantable below if you'd like to get your first box Definitely click on that and I will see you tomorrow for my next video. Bye. Bye